guys. So I'm here to show you my haul. I had um, a really good shopping day today. Today was very good. Um, went out and went to Target and Costco and gosh, where else? Oh, went to Victoria's Secret. And then yesterday or the day before I went to Ulta. And so I have an Ulta haul too to share with you. So it's been, it was a lot of fun. Oh, and I got my julep order today. Woohoo! So we'll go ahead and we'll start, I guess, with um, my Target. Now Target has a lot of stuff on clearance, which is pretty dang awesome. And I, who doesn't love a bargain? So this is my first item. I know it's not really practical, but the color is just beautiful. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. And being on clearance didn't hurt. So that was the first top I got. And then this one wasn't on clearance, but it looked like su such a really good layering piece. Lace. So this will be a big staple in my wardrobe this winter. And of course you have to get a sweater. These sweaters, they're like the best. I bought one before in sort of like a teal color and I figured I need another, definitely. So it's got like a, let me see if we can show it so you can see it, a shawl collar here. And then oh, I've got bright light behind me here, let me move so that bright light's not shining all on you guys. So this one with the shawl collar that just folds over long sleeves and it's really super, super thick. So this way I can just add on layers and be warm because it gets really freaking cold out here in the desert. A lot of people don't realize that uh, we can get down to zero degrees. Those of you in the Midwest might be like, oh, zero degrees is not cold. It's pretty darn cold for this California girl. So <sighs> I need, definitely need layering pieces. So I guess the boho look is really, really in right now. Um, you cannot just find anything that's not boho with prints. And then this one has, it's a cold shoulder, but I thought, oh, well, maybe I can layer sweaters over this and a little tank top underneath for extra warmth. So this is the cute little top. And this one was on clearance too, I'm sure. Yeah, this one was like $13.98 really hard to beat a bargain like that and then a regular sweater sometimes you just need a good old-fashioned normal sweater and it was kind of hard because they had a whole bunch of sweaters and trying to find one that didn't look really old lady or I don't know just boxy and ungainly and made you look like you were just totally unflattering so got that and then oh Next, a pair of jeans. I cannot tell you since the last time I was able to wear jeans. <sighs> I swear, gaining weight totally sucks. So I got a little pair of skinny jeans. They're high-waisted though, but I guess that's a style. That's okay, especially since some of the tops are kind of cropped and short. You want some coverage because I don't need my tummy hanging out all over. I got them in blue, and then I got sort of another pair that are similar to cargo pant leggings. So these are really cute. I wish these had been on sale. If they had been on sale, it would have made my whole haul much, much better. So there was that. Those are fun. Those are gonna be like the mainstays of my wardrobe because really hardly anything I have that fits. And I'm sick to death of Lou LaRoe. I mean, I love LuLaRoe, don't get me wrong, it's comfortable, but it wears out really quickly. And seriously, you just don't want to wear leggings all the time. I mean, there are times you want to dress up or you want to wear some pants and you want to look like a normal person, not someone who's just rolled out of bed. So there's that. And then at Costco, I got like your normal everyday stuff. This is a base layer, which I haven't opened yet. Oh, my, my cat's behind me. <laughs> hey Dobby <laughs> he's helping me with this so this is just um, a nice gray thermal top it had a cute little snowflake pattern on it and actually I wanted to get these in a couple other colors because in the smaller sizes they had white and they had black and of course in my size there was only this which I mean at least it at least there was something I mean 
it would suck if there hadn't been anything. But that that will go well with all the other things that I bought so far. And then socks, which um, I've already opened the pack and put them on my tootsies because they're so warm. These are um, merino wool with spandex, and there was um, four pairs in the pack. Yeah, yeah. Let me grab the other one. <sighs> So yeah, definitely four pairs in the pack of merino wool socks with no latex because I'm allergic to latex. So I have to find latex free socks and those are latex free, which made me really happy. And then underwear. I mean, it doesn't seem like, oh, underwear is not exciting, blah, blah, blah. When you have no underwear that fit, underwear is exciting. I mean, seriously. It's just not been fun. Gaining weight can be a real pain in the ass. I thought losing weight was tough because nothing fit. I had to safety pin everything together. Gaining weight, that that's pretty bad. And then, um, oh, I got my Yule dress. This place was called Lily Folk. And they had, um, it was at the Ontario Mills Mall. No, no, it was at Victoria Gardens. So I got myself a little dress for Yule. Well, actually, we're going to my sister-in-law's for Christmas, so technically it's not Yule since she doesn't celebrate Yule. But I don't celebrate Christmas, so. Okay. Got that. Um, that one was the most that I've spent. That was like $69 for that dress. But when I saw it, I just couldn't resist it. Oh, and I did go to Hot Topic. Hot Topic was ha is having a sale. I think it's still going on. 50% off, and it was like... Um, the jackets and things in the Harry Potter collection. So I got this beautiful jacket. It has buttons in the front. It's, it has um, darts so that there's room for the bust. The little sleeves. The back is freaking adorable. It laces up the back. And then the inside is all, um, let's see, advanced potion making is what it says on the lining on some of the books. Um, History of Magic. I mean, it's just too freaking cute. I can imagine a whole bunch of things that I can wear this with, though. I'm going to see about putting it over the dress I just bought. So, uh, there's that. That might be all the clothes clothes, though I went to Victoria's Secret. I mean, I had tried to buy a couple bras at Target um, about a month ago. And they didn't fit. They were, were really horrible. They cut in. The underwire cut right up underneath. In here. I don't. Why would underwire go all the way up underneath your armpit? I don't understand that. So, went to Victoria's Secret. I know a lot of people say, well, you know, they don't fit right. They don't do this. At least for me, for my shape, they work really well. I, I haven't found another bra company that fits my particular shape. So, I got a black... I didn't want to buy too much because I don't know, am I going to lose weight? My my body just does not like me right now. So knowing after buying clothes, I'm probably going to lose weight. So this really cute. And of course, underwear to match. They had a, a special going on. So if you bought a bra and underwear, then you got these free lingerie bags. So this is another pair of the underwear matches the black bra and can go with the pale i mean it's a pale pale sort of peachy pink and then here's another pair of underwear with the cute little stuff and this will go with the pink and because you know i had bought the two bras and underwear i got two lingerie bags which um i haven't even looked in them i don't know what these look like they didn't have any pictures they just said oh buy a bra and underwear it's 55 dollars, and you get a lingerie bag Okay, that sounds good because, you know, a lot of the bras are, I mean, $55 is just like the base price. So, okay, here's one little bag. And then what's the other thing? Is this a, okay, so this is another bag. So they have two bags. So you get two bags. So that means I have four bags now. And then the sales lady threw in this which I don't know what it is I have we have to open it up and see what it is so I mean and they had a lot of sales going on at Victoria's Secret I have to say 
and I probably could have spent a lot more time there, a lot more money, but um, my husband was with, was with me, and he gets pretty antsy. Okay, so this almost looks like something that you would wear when you're getting your hair cut. Um, I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe in the summer, just throw over my pajamas or something. They called this a kimono on the receipt, so... But it was free. Hey, you know, you don't look a free gift horse in the mouth, right? So, only other things that I got from Victoria's Secret were, um, they have the their lip stuff. These were buy two, get one free. So, I bought two and got one free because, you know, seriously, we always need lip stuff. I mean, it's just, that's just how it is. And then, oh, their face masks. Ugh. Their face masks were two for five bucks, so I got two. Um, this one is a cucumber, and this one has like hyaluronic acid in, supposed to smooth your face and condition it. I am a sucker for face masks, I have to admit. So there's that, and then I have my Ulta. Um, yeah, Ulta. <laughs> Ulta was a lot of fun because I wasn't shopping for myself. I was shopping for my daughters. So the first one is this one. It's the Pretty Little Planner. And it was so cute. Let me see if we can open it and see what's in there. So inside, you've got all this stuff. You've got a little planner. You've got a better than sex mascara. Oops. You've got a, another little notebook. So it's really, really cute. No, no, kitty. No. Kitty's trying to get stuff. So this is going to go to my, um, my daughter for her birthday. Her birthday is on the 10th. So I'll be able to give it to her in just a, four days. Well, almost three days now because... It's probably after midnight now, and but I know she's gonna love this. This is just so up her alley, and then um, I think it should fit her phone in there too. She's got a, a, a pretty big phone, so for my daughter from Too Faced. Too Faced has just the cutest. Oh, holy moly! I didn't even I didn't look at this well enough. I guess it says there's supposed to be a makeup. Other than the better than sex in there? Did I miss something? Come on, open up. Open up. Oh, I see what it is. This isn't a notebook. Oh, it's a palette. Oh my god. Okay, she's gonna love these colors. I thought it was just um a little book with a with a planner and stuff in it, but yet it's so much more. Yeah, I'm glad I got that for her. Then the I have um, my granddaughter, and I bought her the unicorn survival kit. <laughs> I mean, every unicorn needs one of these to survive. And this one is just so stinking cute. There's this adorable, oops, adorable little bag, and then in the bag. You have a melted unicorn. Whoops. There's a tiny little thing of unicorn tears. Oh my God. I have a unicorn tears and I love this lip topper. Oh my gosh. I mean, it looks so amazing over lipsticks and then you can just top it, you know, have it by itself. You don't have to put it on top of anything. And then this is highlighter. I mean, this stuff is, I don't know if you can see the iridescence on that. Oh, it's beautiful. So there is that. This stuff right now that they have um, at Ulta, they're on special. 
and they're like limited edition. So definitely if you can get down and snag one for yourself, I would because you don't want to miss out. And let's see what else I get. Oh my gosh, that's right. They have their thing going on again where you need to buy, what is it? Four, five items, five items for $5. And it really is a good deal because if you don't buy the five items, you know, like if you just bought the nail file or whatever, it'd be like three bucks. So I got the nail files, I got a nail brush because my chickens ate my last nail brush. Don't ask me how. And I got a hand lotion, eyeliner, and then this, which will go into one of my granddaughter's stockings. It's so cute. And then, of course, when you're in the checkout line, you always find stuff that you need. Oh, and then um, I'm going to try a new kind of mascara. So I got this in the checkout line, which is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this stuff works really good. I think it's my favorite of all the brands that I've tried because it smells um, good. I mean, actually, a lot of them, they smell so foul that you just don't even want to wear it. And then I got Urban Decay's Troublemaker mascara yay so I can't wait to try this and see how it works um, the advertising for it in the store it looked pretty good especially since um, they showed like how if you look at um, ads on TV and stuff they show all these amazing lashes and then if you look at the fine print it, it'll say right underneath it um, that they have they're wearing false lashes which I think is just such a fucking ripoff I mean seriously if you're going to show mascara you need to show what it looks like on a real person with real eyelashes and that's what the Urban Decay display did and it showed and it said it was not re you know touched up and it was her natural lashes and it was an actual before and after not a fake one so that was pretty cool and the last thing that I got today came in the mail Oh, and these are probably going to be Christmas presents too, but it was my julep order. I mean, I love julep. It's, I mean, I'm a maven, which means I can order every month at a discount, which makes it awesome. You don't have to order. You can skip it. And I've skipped many times because they don't always have something I want, but I use all of their Korean skincare and I think it works really well, especially since, you know, I'm getting older. So I got, um, this was a free nail polish and I know people are like, Oh, yellow nail polish, but it's really good if you're doing nail art. And then this was the color of the month. And that is like a red with, um, like a shimmer in it. And it's almost like an undertone of pink to the red, like a, this pink shimmer. And then I got two of the it's whipped and that is their lip sort of like a gloss stain, whatever in, um, and it's matte. These are beautiful. I mean, uh, look at that color. Oh my God. This one is so gorgeous. This color, of course I can't probably can't read it. This one's lip lock. And this is the one that's probably going to be like, um, my basic go-to red for the winter. And then I, got this next one which is what is it called spark it's called spark let me open that up for you so you can see this one is in the purple family so it's sort of like a purpley mauvey color and this one oh my god it's so beautiful I can see the unicorn tears over this one seriously so that one is just a beautiful really deep deep mauve Actually, I'd probably wear the unicorn tears over both of them. I mean, <laughs> if you've got unicorn tears, use it. So that was my haul for today and today and yesterday. A lot of fun. Um, I'm really happy that I got some clothes finally because not having anything that fit. I mean, I had not a single pair of pants that I could put on that didn't cut into me except for one pair. The one pair of pants I bought from Mod Cloth like a month or two ago. Well, actually I think it's been more than a month or two, but, um, they're like elephant leg. They're, they're 70 style denim 
which means high-waisted, huge, wide leg. You can't wear those in winter with boots. I mean, how the heck are you going to roll them up and put them in a pair of boots? Not going to happen. So now I have some kind of skinny jeans that I can put my boots over. And I have some cute tops that I can put camis under or long-sleeved shirts under and then layer sweaters because, you know, I'm all for layering. I mean, layering is just what saves you in the winter and keeps you from freezing your ass off. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed my reveal of my haul and I hope you guys have a really great day, great night, you know, whatever. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.